welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that I'm filming on my phone right now, but my camera batteries in the bedroom and tan are still sleeping, so I didn't want to go in there right now. So you're just gonna have to deal with my phone quality for a little bit, but I just wanted to film this intro. It is August 21st and I'm taking the NCLEX today, as you saw by the title of today's video. I'm super nervous and excited and I'm just ready for this whole thing to be done. What's funny is I originally signed up to take the test on August 31st and then I got to thinking about it because that's like two weeks out and then I start work pretty soon after so I was like do I really want my break between school ending and starting work to be like just studying for the NCLEX? So I called like the company and I was like that like facilitates the test and I was like do you have any dates for like next week and this was last week and I was like is there anything for next week and this was on I think Friday and they were like yeah Monday and I was like I'll take it so I studied over the weekend I mean I've been studying for like a year <laughs> but I have really been like pushing my studying the past few weeks obviously and I'm happy to talk more about that after the test because I still have to like eat breakfast it's like 6 40 and I have to leave in like 20 minutes anyways I'm taking it today I'm very nervous I feel pretty good about it like I've been testing on you world and I've been doing pretty good so I feel confident but I'm also nervous because I think once I get to a test setting I'm like mm, what are you talking about I haven't told anybody about my test because I personally feel like it adds like a level of stress when people know when you're testing like big tests like this because then everyone's like good luck which is like so sweet or they're like how did it go and things like that so I just feel like it adds an amount of pressure which I'm obviously wanting to pass the first time but I don't know I also would be like really sad and like wouldn't want to talk about it if I didn't so I just err on the side of caution where I just don't really want anyone to know except Tanner so if you're watching this and I know you, I'm sorry. I just didn't want to tell anybody. Like I said, I have to eat breakfast. I'm going to have to drive there. And oh, I'm so nervous. It'll be fine. The other thing is that I won't have my results for a while. Well, when I say a while, I mean like a few days. Yeah, I'm just scared. <laughs> Anyways, gotta eat breakfast. And then I'll talk to you guys when I have a minute or there's something to talk about. Okay, hello vlog. I just finished taking the NCLEX. I don't even know how I feel. I didn't, it didn't stop at 85. So I was starting to get really nervous and I answered a few more questions and then it shut off. And when I tell you it just like shuts off, like it goes, like it scared me. Cause I was like, oh no, like it's over. But I think the thing that scared me the most was just that it didn't shut off at 85 because I had taken so many practice ones before today that all told me it would shut off at 85 so don't do that to yourself I don't even know how to feel like I got like hard ones I got easy ones I got hard and easy ones back to back I honestly have no idea like if I I could see it going either way and that really scares me. But yeah, it's done. I I don't know how to feel and it really bugs me. But, you know, I did my best. There were times where I was like, I have no idea what this is or like, I have no idea what you're asking me right now. But I tried my best and hopefully that was enough. I actually feel like I'm going to pay the like $8 to get my results a little sooner just because I like to know these things. I don't think I'll do the trick because I think that will actually give me anxiety because I've heard it works and I've heard it doesn't work. So I don't really want to do that, but I'm scared. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to feel right now, but I got to drive home. Glad it's over for sure. And yeah, now we just wait. Ooh. I'll go home and like talk more about my studying and just like that kind of stuff obviously i can't talk about the exam that's like illegal but i will just tell you what i did to study and yeah now we wait it took me a few hours to take it so yeah i feel so weird i don't even know okay gotta drive home now <sighs> okay so it is two days later and so it's August 23rd. I have been like 
constantly checking the like Pearson website to do the quick results thing because I'm just like dying to like find out but also like super scared you know what I mean so I have been checking just like constantly and finally I can pay to see the results because previously it would just say like results not available results not available and I'm telling you I checked like so many times and so I mean you're not really supposed to see unofficial results until 48 hours so it's just about 48 hours but it says purchase i like just checked it a few minutes ago and i had to pull out my camera and film this also don't mind me i really seriously just got back from the gym so looking kind of gross but i just cannot wait any longer i'm so scared though okay so i'm gonna do it but yeah instead of saying results not available it says purchase and i think it's like eight dollars to pay This is like a horrible feeling. It's like good, obviously, but then it's also like really scary. I'm actually gonna move the camera too so that's a better angle for you, but right now I'm logging in. Okay, you guys, I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm scared, I'm really scared. Okay. Also, Tanner's not here, he's at work right now, so we're just doing this. So I just typed in my card, and now I'm going next. I'm scared. All right, submit order. Okay. Payment was declined. I don't know why it would decline. Let's see. Thing. That was not a good feeling. Oh, I just typed in some things wrong, I think. Dang, that was a horrible feeling. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, submit order. Okay, it went through. Return home. This is so crazy. I can't believe it. When I tell you I feel like I failed, like I'm not even kidding. I am so happy. I passed. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe this right now. I feel like I have to tell Tanner, but he's working, so. Oh my gosh. I. I am a nurse. It's official. Okay, well, now I need to take a shower, and I told you I would tell you all my things that I did to study and everything, so I'm gonna take a shower and film that. Oh my gosh, it's all over. It's done. Okay, so this is the portion of the video where I'm going to talk about the NCLEX and like my experience with it as well as my study plan and things that I did to prepare for it and things I wish I didn't do and just advice and things like that because if you're watching this, you're probably about to take the NCLEX or you've already taken the NCLEX. First of all, let's just talk about everything that I found to be useful before testing. All the way from the first day that I've started nursing school, I have been doing UWorld questions. Now, I know that that's not everybody's experience. That's just something that was embedded into my curriculum. So I have been using the UWorld platform for over a year. And I actually really, really love 
you world and i also want to make a disclaimer that none of the things that i talk about in this video are sponsored this is just genuinely my personal experience and thoughts but i really love you world so while i have been doing questions for about a year i really really think that it's worth the money because you get thousands of questions from the get-go and then i didn't even get through all of the questions i think i still have like a thousand to get through which i'm not going to but that just goes to say it's worth the money the other thing i really love about you world is that it gives you the reasoning behind the correct answers in a simple ex explanation i really love that because sometimes i think that I don't do well when things are super complex or the verbiage is just horrible. I really, really like that about you world because it's important to know why you got something wrong and to know the correct reasoning behind stuff like that. I also like how it keeps track of your progress and how you can really see like what topics you're struggling with, what topics you're doing really well with, and just like your overall performance. I think they say like a 60% on you world is like a 95% chance of passing the NCLEX. There was a long time before I was scoring even close to the 60%. Like I, it was hard for me to like at first get used to the program and so i've been doing that for forever since i graduated just about three weeks ago i've been front loading and collect studying so i actually worked just the following week after i graduated and then i quit just so that i could focus on passing the NCLEX and studying for the NCLEX. i know that that's not something that everybody can do so what I'm going to share is still going to be applicable to you. So I was taking over a hundred UWorld questions a day for a few weeks before testing. Another thing that I was doing was reading this book. It's called The Nursing School Comprehensive Bundle by Art Explained. And a nurse actually wrote this, obviously, but she was like an influencer that I just ran into her page on instagram she sells this book on etsy and just like other products as well again not sponsored but i thought that this was a really really great book super to the point then most of the notes are like handwritten some of the pictures are even hand drawn it's a really great book i actually wish i had it during nursing school but it is like a pretty penny and i did not have the money for that so i wish i had it during the program but it's also okay that i didn't because i did have those few weeks off where I was able to study and read this book along with you world there's a couple hundred pages in it so I would kind of pace myself and be like all right read this many pages a day to get through the book in time because I just made it a goal to test by the end of the month I graduated and obviously that was just a goal because there's times where there's just not testing dates or I just don't feel ready or things like that. So that was my goal. And so I based my studying around that. I was able to finish the book literally like two days before testing. And like I said before, also, I was doing over 100 euro questions a day for a few weeks. The few days before testing, I was doing cat tests which is something that UWorld offers. It's like the computer adaptive testing and it's kind of trying to mimic what the NCLEX will do. The point of it is to show you if they think that you'll pass in 85 questions where it'll just shut off or they think that you'll like need to be doing more. So I was doing probably two cat tests a day, which mine shut off at 85 every time, but I was probably doing two a day for the past four days three days before testing just a side note every time i took a cat it shut off at 85 questions like at 85 questions it was done and it was like you're gonna pass like we think you're gonna pass and so i was like great like that's awesome can't wait for my test to shut off at 85 when i do the real one yeah no be careful with that feature because when i went to actually test it did not shut off at 85 and it really stressed me out because I was like, are you kidding me? Like, what's going on? What am I doing wrong? I'm obviously answering these wrong. Why is it my test still going? I should probably just give up. I've failed at this point when it 
past 85 i was just getting into my head so it didn't go too much over but it definitely stressed me out when it didn't shut off at 85. don't let that get to you you're fine you're okay some people i think just pull the short straw and they get all of the questions and that's just like something that happens and it's not because you're not going to pass it just you just get all the questions but yeah so i just caution you with that feature there's also some really great like review videos out there on youtube i know there's like influencers that have review videos as well that i found to be pretty helpful mainly though you world was probably my number one resource and just like as many practice questions as you can do that is just probably the biggest tip that i could give you also just know that you're going to give it your all and really when i was taking the test i did feel like practice te the practice tests that i was doing but it also took me like double the time so don't think that you're going to just finish in like 30 minutes because you finish in 30 minutes at home just really like if you need more time on test day take more time like that's okay but something that i also experienced i think i took like double the time that i usually take when i was actually in the test because maybe it just hit me that it was for real i don't know but that's just something that i noticed i think that that's everything that i want to talk about so hopefully something that i said was helpful for you you're gonna do awesome you can do it positive thoughts sending positive vibes to all of you that are testing and i don't know why i just did that but anyways you got this don't forget to subscribe and join the fam like this video if you liked it and i will see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching bye everyone